What's good everybody? It's your main girl Mel and your curly hair guru. That's me. Today I'll be switching things up and I will be doing my yearly annual straight hairstyle that I only like to do around this time of year for funsies and for that, you know, that good old length check that we can't appreciate when our hairs are so curly. Now since last year's video, a lot has changed. There's been a lot of growth. My hair has changed a little bit and I have some hot new tips to share with you all. So this will be a how to straighten your hair for all hair types, all hair types. And without further ado, here is my updated routine and my best tips for a smooth, straight style that is lasting with minimal damage and done in the least amount of time. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna say goodbye to my curls for now. And, and I know, okay, I'm gonna miss you guys too. You'll be back. We'll be right back here in just a, about a week, okay? Now, of course, when we are styling the hair, we want to use the rule of three, which is prep, style, finish. Prep, style, finish is a guide for you to follow when you're applying products to your hair, but it also applies to the process of styling. So, to begin, we shall prep. Step one, I have prepped or prepared my hairs. And I did that, of course, with a good old shampoo condition and most importantly, a treatment. So, here we are, freshly washed, looking fire. So to wash my hair, I use, and you asked for it, the function of beauty, or function of Mel, as uh, I like to call it, okay, on my bottle. So let's talk about this for a minute, okay? This was the coolest shampoo and conditioner experience I've probably ever had. One, I got to completely customize it to my hairs, which was done very easily by filling out a two minute quiz that was on their website. So for me and my hair needs, I let them know that my hair is curly, it is medium, and my scalp is very normal, but I have these hair concerns and goals. I want deep conditioning, strengthening, thermal protection, anti-frizz, and curl definition. I also got to choose these colors for the shampoo and conditioner, and right down to the scent, which I chose eucalyptus and mint. Right now my scalp is tingling. It is minty fresh. It is sulfate free, paraben free, cruelty free, vegan, non-GMO, all kinds of good things. And it's going to protect my hair as well today because one of my hair goals was thermal protection and strengthening. Specifically, the hair mask. Just like the shampoo and conditioner, this is also customized to my needs. This is a very deep, intensive, weekly moisturizer that you would want to use, especially throughout the winter time. I've been really liking it for my hair. It's been hitting all my hair goals as I selected. So I went ahead and did this. And just by the way, for a limited time only, you can get Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner and a free one of these guys. Okay, their hair mask is worth $19. You would get it for free if you purchase the shampoo and conditioner. You can check out that deal in the link in my description. So now that we've prepared the hairs, that was my first tip. Make sure that you do treat the hair. Make sure it's in its most healthy and happy state before doing this. And now on to step number two, we are moving into styling. And my first most important tip that I can give you guys is grab a seat. We might just unfortunately be here for a while. So to begin the styling process, I have to go in with my styling products. So see here, my hair is wet. Actually, I want it to just be damp, wet enough that I can get my products through, but I'm just using a microfiber towel. This is from the Perfect Hair Care. I got these on Amazon. They're literally microfiber. So make sure my hair is nice and towel dry, but still wet enough, I can work through. Now these steps are very important. Save yourself time by doing it right in the first place. So let me begin with styling. I'm going in with my Olaplex Bond Smoother. This will be my style product. This is going to give me heat protection. It's going to give me frizz prevention. And it's also going to keep my hair nice and nourished while also strengthening with its bond repairing goodness that Olaplex does. This product is 
bay and I'm very excited to straighten my hair with it because I just know it's gonna be, give me a bomb style. Now I know a lot of you are scared of silicones, but silicones are amazing in your stylers when you're using extreme heat, smoothing, if you wanna add shine to your hair, anything like that. They will seal and protect your cuticle from when you're using the high heat that they are built to withstand. So don't be afraid of silicones, especially when you're using heat. Now to smooth out my hair, I'm doing one section at a time. This way I do not get overwhelmed in the depths of my curly hair and it's easier for me to get the smoothest possible style. Now I'm using one of these bad boys, which is a ceramic round brush, but if you are afraid and you've gotten one of these caught in your hair before, then you don't have to go in with a round brush. You can simply use a paddle brush and one I like to use best would be a boar bristle paddle brush because you will be able to get the smoothest possible result because of how tightly packed the bristles are. But I like using ceramic because the ceramic's also going to heat up, so I'm going to get an even smoother blow dry, which means less heat and less work done with the flat iron. I am also attaching a concentrator nozzle to the blow dryer because this is going to keep my airflow really nice and direct on the hair. You will see here I'm blowing the hair downwards, always downwards to help lay that cuticle nice and flat, which will give me the smoothest style. The blow drying is the hardest, most time consuming part, but it is the most important. It is going to make finishing the hair very easy. If you watch me as I do this, you'll notice I'm always starting at the root and then working down the hair. I always follow the rule. Roots first. You see, tension is very important here. Imagine your brush is the leader and the blow dryer is the follower. Follow the leader, leader, leader. Look at that shine. When I say this part is a workout, it really kind of could be a workout. This is the hardest part of this whole process, no doubt. However, this is the most important part. So, try not to get discouraged. Take a break if you need to. Make sure you've got some good ventilation so you're not sweating as you're trying to dry the hair. Make sure you have some music on and enjoy the process. It's all going to be worth it. Guys, I have to say, I'm really excited about all this length though. Now we need to move on to straightening this because this is not going to fly for me unless you like the poofy look. This is how we finish the styling. So moving on to step three. So uh, I'm going to put on another finishing product. Just make sure my hair looks really nice and shiny and to give a little extra heat protection. You can never be too safe. This is from... Fanola. This is their Oro Therapy. This is 24 karat Diamante Puro. And I'm going to be taking a few drops of this and working this only really towards my ends. This is a silicone product, which is going to really help to seal and protect my hair. This is heat protectant. Silicones and products are the emollients that are going to help seal and protect your hair cuticle from when you're using the high heat. So in last year's straightening video, I showed you guys myself using a flat iron, traditional ceramic flat iron, one that I've been using for years. So I wanted to show you how to use a new tool in this video that has amazed me. Today I'm going to use a hair straightening comb. It's like a hot comb, but less scary. So I'm really excited to show you guys what this thing can do. This was purchased off of Amazon. I have the box here. I wanted to show you it came with a lot of different things so I actually was using the detangling brush that it came with earlier which is this guy which is kind of like a tangle teaser but worked really well um, and it also came with a little sleeve to put it in after a glove to use and some clips so it came with all of these things and why I like it as well is because it has different heat settings attached to it. So that is a very important thing, okay? Depending on what your texture is. For someone like me who has fine hair, but you know, a medium density of it, quite a bit of it, but also color treated hair, 
I really can't be using a very high setting. If I use a very high setting, my hair is going to be damaged and that's not what we want. So I like that it has five different options. It does also have uh, in the user manual what different heat settings to use. If you are confused, it shows you how to use this thing. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to use this thing right now. So just like anything, we are going to section off the hair because you need to be thorough. I need like protective glove on. So I'm starting off on the third heat setting. That's what I'm doing for my texture. However, in relation to all textures and heat, if your hair is fine, thin, overprocessed, dry, damaged, you know, just the more fragile hair, the lower the heat, the better. Now, if your texture is more medium or it's color processed, you can go in with medium heat. You don't wanna be using crazy heat as well. You do not have to use the highest heat setting. Unless maybe if you have coarse or thick textures and very resistant hair. These textures are going to need more heat to help smooth and lay down the hair. But keep in mind everybody, you can always turn the heat up. So start low. If the hair begins to smoke, if you're noticing a lot of smoke and steam, or if the hair has an oily look after using the flat iron, like just through one pass, then that's a sign that your iron is way too hot and you should turn it down. So, same rules apply. When you're using a flat iron, you don't want to be spending a million hours on the same strand, okay? You want to give it a nice, smooth, quick, fluid pass through your hair. Um, but because this thing is kind of heated really only on one side instead of pressing the hair, I'm gonna do two passes. I'm gonna do over first because going over first is gonna make the ends of my hair flip out when I want them to flip in. So after I will go under. So just like this, I'm working in no bigger than a one inch section, like half an inch section. I actually really like, you can get right into the root and it's it doesn't burn the scalp. <laughs> Yay. Now I also wanna note that I prefer to do my hair around this time of year because the weather is cooling off the humidity is dying out and it is the optimal time for me to straighten my hair because I find it lasts the longest. If you've ever straightened your hair in the heat of the summer, you know that sweat, heat, and humidity do not do well with the straightened curls. However, the fall winter air keeps the smooth style nice and sleek so that it lasts longer and it was all worthy of the blood, sweat, and tears that you invested into styling. For someone that likes a smooth, but still a voluminous style, like see how it's not flat, flat, like I still have body to my hair. This tool is amazing. You see, my hair will always have this poofy, kind of expanded volume because of my texture. So my curl pattern contributes to this, but more importantly, it's because of my high porosity hair. My hair does not naturally lay flat and smooth, and because it is fine, and not heavy, the style does not naturally lay down sleek. So it's got this airy feel like a freaking feather. Blonde is great because it gives me more volume, but it also makes my hair look and feel more dry. It's a give or take scenario. But it was very important to get a nice smooth blow dry first. And what I like most about this is it's kind of like a one and done tool. So I don't have to use a flat iron, which I would need to use a comb with and really get through there. Oh God. All right, everybody. I think that concludes this week's video. Here we are. It looks like I have a blowout. I love it. I'm very impressed. I'm very pleased to be giving a hair straightening brush a thumbs up. I never thought I would believe in something like this, but I'm really impressed by the results that I got and it was very easy to use. So I'm gonna be putting the link to this guy in the description below, as well as the links to all of the products and everything I use, especially you will see Function of Beauty down there. Guys, you have the opportunity to get a free treatment if you wanted to try out the shampoo and conditioner, which I have been really liking and I will be sure to be doing my treatment again 
when I go back to the curls, but for now, I'm just thoroughly enjoying this new look. So, before I'm off, and since I'm actually off to bed after this, I'm going to show you how I'm going to protect this overnight, which I did show in my last video as well. But basically, I'm going to take a boar bristle brush. This is what I'm going to be brushing my hair with now uh, throughout the week because it's going to help to transfer the oils and distribute them evenly throughout my head. Um, and I'm basically just going to brush all of my hair backwards. And gather the hair as if I'm going to be doing a low pony. You split the hair in two and you wrap it around you. That's exactly what you do. You need to secure it with a scarf if this is how you're gonna sleep. This is what I'm sleeping with to preserve the straightness of the hair. So, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Until the next video, that's all I have for now. This is the Names by Mel, out. Peace. Oh, it's that time of year. It's like the Pantene commercial. No do, who is you? It really is an arm day. You see how much I'm using my hands already? Holy fucking growth. Oh my god, I just want to do this forever. I have the glove on the wrong hand. Pretty freaking smooth. Pretty smooth. Oh, the best part about straightening your hair. Isn't this magical?